Hi there Power Ranger fans, welcome to another Power Rangers Beast Morphers toy review with me, Admin Goki Ranger from the Goki Ranger team. Now, the video you are watching is going to be a little different. Now, usually when we review a Power Rangers Megazord, we tend to review it all together. But because of the Zords being individually awesome and having the video would be literally would take too long to do what we've decided to do is we're going to break down the review into parts but in this video we'll be taking a look at the blue rangers beast wheeler zord hello there power ranger fans welcome to another power rangers beast morphers zord toy review with me admin gold King ranger from the gold King ranger team and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the power rangers beast morphers Beast Wheeler Converting Zord. Awesome. So the Beast Wheeler Converting Zord is the Blue Ranger's personal Zord. It has two modes and I'm very, very excited to be reviewing this Zord. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. But before we take a look at the Zord itself, we're going to take a look at the box. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the box for the Beast Wheeler Zord. Okay, so what we're going to do Let's take a look at the box and then we'll take a look at the toy itself. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, we got a nice illustration of the Beast Wheeler Zord in Gorilla Mode, which looks fantastic. We got the Power Rangers logo at the bottom. Hasbro Power Rangers, awesome. And we got the Power Rangers, well not Power Rangers, Hasbro logo in the bottom corner. And we got two modes and there's Wheeler Zord and obviously Gorilla Mode over here. The Power Rangers Beast Morphers logo at the top. We got the Power Rangers logo at the top of the box, which looks fantastic. I love that. And we've got on this side of the box, we've got the gorilla, gorilla mode of the Beast Wheeler Zord, which looks fantastic. And we've got the Power Rangers website at the bottom, powerrangers.com, which you can go and check that out. And on this side, we've got the Beast Morpher logo, the Beast X Megazord which combines the Beast Racer Zord, the Beast Chopper Zord, and the Beast Wheeler Zord. And finally, the Beast X Ultra Zord, the Ultimate Mega Zord. Oh, fantastic. And then if we turn to the back of the box, we've got the Power Rangers logo in the top corner, then two modes, and then we've got Gorilla Mode, as you can see. And finally, we've got the uh, Wheeler Mode. Now, when you get this, it will be in its wheeler in its uh, sorry in its gorilla mode so you have to look in the instructions you which you do get with the box to check out how to turn this back into this or you could just watch this video <laughs> okay so the other zord which says also look for the beast racer zord at number one number two beast chopper zord number three the beast wheeler zord number four the beast jet zord and finally at number five the beast wrecker zord Build and battle, and that is when you combine the Beast X Megazord with the Beast Cheetah, the Cheetah Racer, the Jack Rabbit Chopper, and the Gorilla Wheeler. <laughs> and then if you combine all five Zords together, you'll be able to form the Beast X Ultra Zord, which is fantastic. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into this review and take a look at the Beast Wheeler Zord. Okay. So now we've taken a look at the box, what we're going to do is we're now going to take a look at the Zord itself. So, let's begin. So, first of all, as you can see, it's basically a truck. Hence why it's called Wheeler Zord, because it's got all loads of wheels. But, what can this Zord do? Well, first of all, it's a, it's a truck or lorry, as I said, so it's able to roll along like this because of the wheels. Now wait, there's something wrong here. You're probably wondering, where's the gorilla head at the front like we saw at the start? Well, that's because this is the first mode you would initially see when it's in the Zord Bay at Grid Battle Force, where there's no head. But basically, what you need to do is you need to get the gorilla head. And where is the gorilla head, I hear you ask? Well, if you look to the back of the Wheeler Zord, look in here. There's the head. It, you can basically store the gorilla head at the back like this. The gold parts all clip into the back of the sword, Ooh. just in here. And then when you want to get it, you just simply pull it out like that. Now the head's down at the moment, so what we're going to do is get this ready first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the front 
and we're going to pull it and flip it down and then we're going to pull out the Zord port well connector port right here and then I'm going to take the gorilla head and we're going to pull it up like this to reveal the eyes then we're going to connect it to the front like so and then it's smash linked fantastic so here it is when smash is linked and it's basically like a gorilla truck which is fantastic i love that now you're probably looking at that zord now you're probably looking at the back of the zord and you're probably thinking why on earth is there like a big letter h right here well there's a reason for that because if you guys have got the Beast Chopper Zord, which I have right here, what you can do is you can bring in the Beast Chopper Zord and you can literally place it on the back of the Zord. And then the Beast Wheeler Zord, oops, bear with me. It's not sturdy, it doesn't, it's not like a stock, it's like, not like a solid, it stays on there. But what you can do is carry the Beast Chopper Zord on the back of the Wheeler Zord, which looks fantastic. Of course, if you want, you can check out the Beast Chopper Zord review, which we have, well, the link's in the description below, or you can check out the Beast Morpher playlist to find it. Okay, so, we've had a look at Wheeler, at Wheeler Zord mode. What about Gorilla mode? Well, to make Gorilla mode, we're going to have to completely take this Zord apart, literally. Watch this. So, we're going to take up the wheels off of here, so, like this. So take the bottom wheels off. Be very careful when you do this because these wheels are very... It's like these little parts here at the bottom. They can, I have a strong feeling they could break, but I trust they won't. <laughs> then we're going to flip these to the top like so. Take this front piece off. Take the gorilla head and keep it as it is. Or should, are we? Well, no. Because what we're going to do is we're going to flip this down like this and we're going to turn the head this way like that then we're going to take these parts and turn them here and i'll show you what we're going to do with those in a little while so continue to disassemble your gorilla zord so we're going to take this off and then take these off and split this apart because these are going to become the arms and the fist so we're going to flip out the fist like so and again, there you go. Now we've got pegs down here, which you just simply pull up. There's one and the other. And we're gonna split the legs apart, like so. The wheels pretty much stay at the back, so that's pretty good. So this piece, which was at the bottom, is gonna become the main body of the Gorilla Zord pretty much. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the legs a bit apart like that and we're going to connect them into these peg holes. Oops. We're going to connect them into the peg holes into here. So there's one leg and two legs. I'm going to take the body and we're going to just connect that into... Oops. I'm going to connect this piece into this piece. Now you have to do it at a certain angle because there's a weird, the, the way that they're doing the Zord ports for the Zords this year are very, very weird. There we go. Now, the arms simply attach into here, but you have to, again, put them in at a certain angle. You basically look at the hole and look at the arm and then you'll basically be able to figure out how to put it in like so, and then you'll be able to move it as you please. And that's for the other arm as well. And finally, the wheels that you took off earlier, you're simply going to take those and attach them into these parts which you moved around to the front earlier. So I'm just going to simply push them in on there. And the second one there. Oh. And the second one just there. Like that. And there we go. There's Gorilla Mode. Now obviously, unfortunately, it can't go on all fours like you see in the t in the TV series and you know because it just looks like it's fallen over <laughs> but yeah the arms can rotate and you know you can get the gorillas or to punch or like in the show you can use these to pretend it's shooting out of the banana rockets or the rocket storm as he 
as he calls it in the show. And yeah, it looks fantastic. I mean, I love the Beast Wheeler Zord. It's really cool and I love gorillas. They're brilliant. And that is it. That is it for this video. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And please remember, as always, to like the video, share the video, comment below. And your question of the day is, what is your favourite Blue Ranger moment from the Power Rangers Beast Morphers series? And, of course, as always, go, go subscribe because you don't want to miss any more of the upcoming Power Ranger Beast Morph for the toy reviews and many more amazing videos to come. And what's more, on the 2nd of September, set your write this on your calendar and set your timers because at 6pm on Kids Pop TV channel, Pop TV, it is time to watch the premiere of Power Rangers Beast Morphers in the United Kingdom. Woo! I can't believe it's finally happening. Power Rangers Beast Morphers is officially premiering in the UK on Kids Channel Pop TV and it's amazing. So that's on the 2nd of September at 6pm. And as I'm just going to say, thank you for watching. May the power protect you. Have a Beast Morph phenomenal day and I will see you next time. Bye bye for now Ranger fans.